idcwoodcraft.com. Hello, my CNC brother or sister. I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, a company you get your CNC router bits from. In this video, I'm going to talk about setting up your grid spacing in your design and your vector software. I got an email from a viewer. They wanted to know how to change the grid spacing. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But first, I want to talk to you about what grids are in your design. So a grid is a feature that you can turn on and off that allow, allows you or gives you uh, reference points that you can design from. It gives you points to snap to and it all around is a feature that you can use to just create based on specific sizes. So if you look on my drawing right here, you see all these little gray dots that are set up in a very uniform fashion and they are all across the design screen and even in the design project area and right in the middle of this welcome sign. First of all, for grids, they can just be used as a reference so that you turn your grids on and you know that you have a one inch spacing or whatever spacing you've set it at. But the big advantage to grids is you can snap to the grids. In other words, when you start drawing lines, you can have your line point start right at a grid point. In other words, you're 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 in a line function or a circle function where you're getting ready to create the element then if your snaps are turned on you can actually start uh, right at a grid point and know that the software is going to grab that grid point so when you go up to the upper right corner of your software there will be three icons the first two are snapping icons and the third one is the grid icon where it toggles it on and off now i like to use grids with snaps so it gives me a little more control over my design. So before we, I show you how to change the size, I just want to show you to turn your snaps on and off by these two icons right here. If they are gray, the snaps are turned off and your, your line drawing won't grab different points. I've got other videos to talk about snapping, so I'm not going to dive into it here. Just make sure the snaps are this light blue color. If it's turned off, it'll be gray. I'm going to click this one, and now, now that's off, it's gray. Uh, that means you won't be able to use your smart snapping toggle. So I'm going to turn it back on. Now the grid button is what actually turns the grids on and off. So you see here we got a bunch of grids, and that's going across the entire design area. If I click the grid toggle switch these grids are going to turn off and so there they disappear and now I won't be using them as a snapping reference but I'm going to turn it back on by clicking the icon again so these grids are currently set at one inch apart so side to side every point is exactly one inch spacing and up and down it's exactly one inch spacing and it's that way across the entire design but let's say i want my grid points to be at a half inch spacing as opposed to a one inch spacing or you want a two inch spacing so the way to change your grid spacing is to come to the upper left to the edit button select that and come down to the bottom and you'll see this snap options. You can also press F4 to bring up this menu. Select snap options, and now your snap options menu will come up. Now everything that's here is all the different ways that you can tell the software you want it to snap to different points. For example, we'll, uh, it's checked display text at cursor, so there will be text on the cursor or right next to the cursor when it's doing things. But let's go over to geometry snapping. So it'll grab a object corner, it's because I have it checked, endpoints of lines, because I have it checked, and span or midpoints. In other words, the middle point of a line and other various things. As long as it's checked, then with your snap options turned on, then you will be able to snap to those different points. Snapping is a very, very useful tool. I suggest you get used to it, but we want to change our grid spacing. So you see right here, there's this text that says grid and it has an editing box and right there it says 1.0 inches. So I want to change my grid spacing to 0.5. And that will change my grid spacing when I click OK. Now you see right above there, it says snap to grid. If I want to make sure that I can snap to my grid, 
then I want to have this checked. Otherwise, the software will not snap to the grid. So we've just changed our grid spacing. And if you look at the design, now my grid spacing is 1.5 or 0.5. And I'm going to switch it back to 1, 1.0. And I'm going to just to click out of the 1.0 the uh, text box where I had one uh, point five, and you see the grid will turn off. When I turn it back on, now our grid spacing is one inch. So what if I want the grid at two inches? I'll say 2.0 or just two, click OK. And now the grid spacing has now changed to two inches apart. So that's how you change the grid spacing in your Vectric software. If this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, because I got a lot of videos to help you out to become a better CNC creator. IDCWoodcraft.com.